Well, hey y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I'm Susan, your hostess, and y'all, I had a knock at the door the other day, and I was so surprised. A friend of ours brought us some canning jars. We're going to be in the kitchen washing those up, and I thought I would share this with y'all. I love getting free jars. They had stopped canning themselves, and so they were cleaning out some of their things and brought over some canning jars. So let's get in the kitchen and get these washed up and take a look at them. So my friend brought over these jars and there's one quart jar in here. They're quite dusty. As you can tell, I'm going to go ahead and set these in my sink. We're going to get these washed up in just a moment. Um, there's several pint jars and I use a lot of pints around our place because it's just the two of us and the pint jar seems to be the right size and some of them have bands and, and uh, flats and if the plats are good, I'll use them again. And um, I can also take these and use them on my dry goods when I can them. So either way, they are good. And I usually stick them in the dishwasher. So we got three pints so far. There's another one, that's four, five, six, seven, go ahead and stick my little bottle brush in there. Eight. Nine. Ten. got a wide mouth pint. Those are really good for canning meats. And two half pint jars. Okay, y'all can see my dirty dishes I've got over here soaking. That's okay. I'm going to get some soap in one of these jars. We're going to get this started get these washed up.
you want to make sure that you are laying the open side down when they're drying so that they will dry and not rust. And my flats. It's got ink on it. You just rub it with that soapy water and it comes right off. Well, that didn't take long at all. All of the jars are clean now. I'm just going to let them dry, air dry a little bit. Then I'll take a drying towel and finish drying them off. Get them stored away. Um, my rings I store on an old metal coat hanger. And they're hung on there according to size. And then my flats I store, the used flats, in one drawer. I have a little three-drawer uh, caddy that I keep in there. And I, so I'll store all my used flats like these in there for when I'm canning dry goods and reusing them for those. Thank you for watching, folks. I hope you learned a little something about getting free jars. I get excited every time I get these, and that really helped me out. There were 16 jars in here, so a little over a case. And a case of jars, y'all know, are about $15 now for the pints. So, I was really thankful to get these. If you liked this video, please share it out. Hit those thumbs up. If you haven't already, friend the channel. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Leave a comment below as to what you think. May you be fully blessed. And most of all, thank you for watching.